The Xenoborg character was featured in the 1999 video game Aliens vs Predator, a product created by the Whaley Nutani Corporation from their desire to weaponize the Xenomorph species. This cyborg was equipped with three laser targeting devices and two large laser guns. It was meant to be used as an automated defense weapon. Now upon encountering this machine, it will activate and begin scanning the area for targets. It moves very slow, but is armored on some areas of its body. It is known to be very resistant to explosives. Whaley Nutani attempted to create a new form of the super soldier, but this was the end result. In doing so, the xenomorph lost all of its natural instincts and abilities. Although it is a fusion of organic and mechanic materials, it mostly just functions as an automated weapon while appearing to look like a xenomorph in some aspects. Now despite being armored and having incredible firepower, it does have some weaknesses. Its activation sequence is rather slow, and because of the numerous amount of armor plating on its body, its traveling speed is the slowest in the game. You are able to destroy the guns on each arm, but it will still function. Now by shooting its legs off, you can kill the cyborg. But one of the quickest ways to dispatch this enemy is to shoot the green light on its head. Some weapons might only temporarily disable the Xenoborg, but it will reboot its weapon system unless it is destroyed. Now, they still retain the properties of their acidic blood, so close range combat is still dangerous. Although these cyborgs are extremely slow, their tough armor and high power laser guns can even be troublesome for a hunter in melee combat, which is why long range weapons are the better choice. The smart disc seems to be very useful when dispatching these enemies. So the Xenoborg was encountered by the Marine and the Predator during their campaigns. Some websites have listed a Xenoborg to appear in the video game Aliens vs Predator 2 from 2001, but the scene this was referenced was just an injured alien with no cybernetic parts on its body. Now the Xenoborg was listed to make a brief appearance in the comic books. So what do you think about the Xenoborg? Do you like the idea or do you think it doesn't fit at all? Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you want to see more topics around the Alien and Predator universe, then subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you know when I upload a video. Now I've covered a lot of topics across the movies, comic books, and video games, so have a look around on my channel. You might find something else that interests you. Thanks for watching, my name is Asaglow, and I'll see you in the next video.